Hello, and welcome to our Top Line Results Zoho CRM Learning Series. In this five video series, we will be working on creating a home page in Zoho CRM for sales managers so they can review and track the progress of their sales teams. Before building the home page, we will create several panels of important data that will be used to build the sales manager's dashboard. For today's video, let's discuss how we create a simple bar chart, pie chart, and funnel chart to track all this precious data. Let's begin by generating a chart that shows all the opportunity dollar amounts by salesperson this year. This will give us a sense for how well each salesperson is building their sales funnel. To begin, I have already logged into Zoho CRM and have opened the analytics module of the CRM system. Previously, I had already created a new analytics dashboard called Sales Manager. I demonstrated this in another video, so please reference that video in the link below. I did this so I can add key measurement panels to it and easily reference it later when we develop our home page. Looking at our dashboard, let's go ahead and hit the Add Component button on the screen so we can develop our panel. From the menu that opened, let's select the Chart option. In the next window, you will see a couple of options which we can select from. For today's purpose, let's select Quick Chart. For my component name, I'm going to enter opportunity dollar amount by salesperson. For the module, let's select opportunities. If you don't see opportunity, it may be called deals. They are the same thing. At this time, we don't need a related module. For measure, let's change this by clicking on the dropdown to the sum of amount. For the grouping option, we are going to change this to opportunity owner because we need to base this off of the salesperson. The salesperson is generally the owner of the opportunity or deal record. Let's now select the criteria filter option. And in its first dropdown, let's change this to created time. And the second box, we will change to this year. Once we are happy with the chart, let's hit the Save button to create this panel. We will now see our newly created panel listed on the screen. Next, we will create a funnel chart to track our opportunity dollar amount by sales stage. We shall now proceed to the Add Component button again. We will select the Chart option and select Quick Chart. Our component name this time will be Opportunity Dollar Amount by sales stage. With our module, we will select this and change this to opportunity again. This may be deals for you. Our measure this time will be the sum of expected revenue. Let's go ahead and set the grouping to sales stage or stage because we want to see our data based on the stage. At the top right corner of this window, let's change the chart type from column chart to funnel chart. And once we have made all these changes and they've been completed, let's hit the Save button to complete our panel. Once again, you will notice that that panel is automatically added to our dashboard. You will also observe with this Opportunity Sales Pipeline funnel that the dollar amounts do not show on this panel. However, you can find these dollar amounts just by hovering over these different options. As you see, the dollar amounts are listed based on the sum of the expected revenue. Also from this panel, uh, which is also the same case for every other single panel, you can drill into this data as well. So if you want to see all the opportunities or deals based on the stage, all you have to do is select one of these columns. Let's go ahead and select Negotiation Review to see the data behind it. You will notice a new tab opens, and it'll show you all the opportunities based on the stage and their expected revenue. For our final chart today, we are going to now create a PAR chart. This will be opportunities by industry. So once again, let's go ahead and select the Add Component button to begin building uh, of the component panel. We will once again select Chart and Quick Chart to get to our editor. Our component name this time will be Opportunity by Industry. Our module will once again be opportunities or deals with no need for a related module. For our measure, 
We are going to keep it as count of opportunities because we want to count and not a dollar amount. Finally, grouping will be set to industry. This time for our chart, we need to change the chart type from column chart to pie chart. To do so at the top right corner of this window, we will select the dropdown and change it to pie chart. We are now happy with the settings for this chart, so let's go ahead and hit the save button to create the chart. With that, we have concluded today's training video, the first of a five part series. Please continue watching the series with part two using KPIs. If you would like to know more, go to our website and complete the contact us form at toplineresults.com. Thank you for enjoying our video.